Girl, Nanny here. I hope that everybody's doing well. I hope that you keep it safe, and I hope that you keep it healthy. I myself, I'm doing all right. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I'm just Peggy King. Anyhow, I just thought I'd come on right quick just to talk with y'all because I got some things to say, y'all. But I don't know about anybody else, but you know, when I throw on a pair of hoops, it just kind of makes me feel all sassy. I don't know, maybe it's a Latina in me, but I just, you know, I put on my little headband and my, my hoops and I'm like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Let's have a little chit chat, shall we? Anyhow, you know, I've been watching a lot of YouTube, okay? Um, I've been mainly watching a whole lot of the Fifty Beauty stuff, okay? But I still have people asking, Man, I wanted you covering the drama queen, a.k.a. Untruthfully Trisha. And I'm like, oh, what for or why? I've said all I need to say about her. Everything's always the same. She done anything different than she hasn't done over the past, what, almost seven years? Anything different? She's still fighting with that one person? Yeah, she's still doing the back and forth with those other people? What's changed? Anything different? Hmm? Anything? And then they tell me, well, she went on a camping trip and she peed her pants. And I'm like, what? What you talking about, Peter pants on camera? Well, I mean, she's done that before. I've seen her squat and take pee before, okay? But they're like, no, she was camping in the woods and all this. I'm like, hmm. All right, I haven't watched her in a while, okay? I'm trying to avoid that like the plague, but I'm going to go check it out. I'm going to go have a look, see, right? Just because I like when she does the zany stuff, so camping. What she know about camping? So I went and had a look-see. Against my better judgment, I went and checked out the video, right? And yeah, sure enough, she had like some camping get-up. But when I got there with the part that I got to, she's in there crying. You know, she's got her head in her hands and she's just crying away. And I'm like, what the heck crying about? I thought you was living the best life ever. I thought you was so happy with your independence. What are you crying for? Why are you crying? And then she said something about like she thought the engine in her truck blew and she drove seven miles and whatnot and all this. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. pity party, cash grab, yeah. And I'm like, but wait a minute, didn't you just say that the engine in your truck blew not too long ago? Because I saw something on the Twitter. Twitter's where it's at, y'all. Uh -huh, that's where I get a lot of my information. Don't have to watch anything. Catch up on the Twitter. But I'm like, wait, you just used that storyline, but now your engine's blowing again? What? Okay, now. And then I fast forward a little bit, you know. And sure enough, she did pee pee them pants. Oh, yeah. You know, I thought these lying to me, saying like, oh, go nuts, she peed her pants. I thought maybe a little tinkle, right? Um, I, I thought they were just trying to trick me to go get, get to watch the video, but when I got to that part, I went, holy hell, that was not a tinkle. The floodgates opened up, and pff, there they went. And I'm like, girl, cut the live stream. Cut the live stream, go freshen up, get out of those clothes before you get some chafing going on down there. That's the last thing you want. Cut the live stream, go get cleaned up, and come back if you got to. But no, show went on, and I'm just thinking to myself, Ew, 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 ew. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. I won't even make a damn video if I have not showered and brushed my teeth. Now, I know you can't smell my breath or my body odor, right? But, uh-uh. I ain't gonna sit there stanky, make a video, let alone pee my pants and sit there with wet drawers. I won't make a video. No, thank you. But carry on with the live stream she did. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I ain't interested in covering that, watching that. No, that's just messy. I'm on to somebody else's even messier. Well, actually, not messier because I see so much um, similarities between 50 Beauty and Untruthfully Trisha. I do. I see it. I see it in a lot of people, okay, but I, I ain't got time to be watching everybody, okay? And now I'm starting to watch this other girl, this uh, Carol Ann or whatever the hell her name is. Ooh, -wee, that, that one right there. I'm telling you, I can't keep up with her names, but if y'all know who I'm talking about, you know. Anyhow, um, so anyhow, with Fruity Beauty, right? This is the thing that gets me with her, right? She is always trying to sell us this bullshit that she's buying, right? And we're sitting out here like, girl, stop. Just stop. Stop. You look foolish. You look foolish trying to sell us on the bullshit that you're believing. But you know the one thing that really irritates me, really, really irritates me, is when... Fifty Beauty is trying to debunk the facts. The facts that people are slapping her in the face with. Now, I know she don't want to listen. She don't want to hear it. But she tries to debunk the facts. And I'm not just talking about, like, people telling her, you know, you stuffing your face is bad for you. Oh, let me tell you. The gluttony, y'all, 
I can't. I can't. But I'll make another video talking about that because that right there, mm -mm, I think it's disgusting what she's doing to herself. But she has motivated me to not eat so much myself and work out a little bit because, mm -mm, honey, I don't want that. But, but the one thing that's really, you know, under my nerves right now, or on my nerves right now, is this whole shisha thing, the hookah, the whatever she's doing. She's really, really trying to convince us or convince herself that it ain't that bad, y'all. It ain't as bad as smoking, y'all. I don't smoke, I don't vape, I don't do any of that, okay? But I'm not knocking anybody who does, so don't get all, like, pissy with me because I ain't trying to say anything. It's your body, you do what you want, right? I'm only interested because... Fuji is trying to sell it like it's, you know, it's nothing bad. Like, oh, you guys are so misinformed and this is good for me, you know. It's, it helps with my asthma and whatnot and all that bullshit she's trying to put out there, right? So I started looking up because I don't know shisha, hookah, and all this other stuff. So I start looking up and I'm like, girl, you're misinformed. You sure are because tobacco is tobacco. Now, somebody did make a good point and say, you know, well, she can get some nicotine-free tobacco. And I'm like, okay, I didn't know all that, but all right. Um, but she said it's making her feel relaxed, right? So there's something in that tobacco that's making her feel relaxed. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Years, years back, I did try smoking a couple times. You know, I took one puff, two puffs, and I'm like, ooh, okay, I'm feeling a little lightheaded here. Yeah, and I started feeling really relaxed. I'm like, oh, okay. The, my mouth tasted like somebody took a dump on it, but I like this feeling. I'm feeling relaxed. And all of a sudden, the next thing I know, I'm like, oh, my God, what's going on in my belly? Oh, that did not feel too good. That did not sound too good. And yeah, the bubble guts hit me right away, and I'm like, uh-uh. If I take a puff of that and it makes me go to the bathroom, no thank you very much. <laughs> so that, that ended my smoking days. Didn't try it again. Didn't like it. Um, but yeah, there's got to be something in it if it's making her feel relaxed. And, you know, now she's trying to tell us, oh, I only smoke a hookah when I do a live stream. <laughs> Girl, please. That's like saying you only eat when you're on camera, please. Please. You know she puffing on that thing all day long. <laughs> What else you got to do, right? Or did she mean I only smoke the hookah shisha when I'm watching live streams? I just had an epiphany. That's what she means. She means that she only does a shisha when she's live streaming or watching a live stream, right? I mean, she don't watch live streams, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. So she's pretty much doing a shisha all day long. All day long. Oh, yeah. Yes, believe me. She's doing that <laughs> all day long. All day long. Anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. I'm getting off track here. But I was watching a stream of hers, right? And she's talking about the shisha, trying to defend her use of it, right? And I'm like, girl, you just contradicted yourself throughout this whole video. How can you do that? That's the one thing that drives me insane. I'm telling you, when people just contradict themselves. And it's right there, video proof. And when you call them out, I'm like, hey, you're lying. You got the proof? Yeah, I got the proof, and I'm going to show you the proof. So I'm going to play some clips, and then we'll talk about it, okay? Uh-huh. Does the shisha hurt your throat? Um, no, actually. I don't even, that's why it doesn't, like, I don't feel it. I don't cough or anything. Oh, really? <coughs> hey, I'm... Um, <coughs> Hi, Hill. Dude, I have to karaoke or not. I have to use the facilities, I'll be right back. You guys know. Oh, come on. Um, excuse me, but what was you saying before we were so rudely interrupted? I don't cough or anything. Oh, really? Are you sure about that? Because I swear I just heard you coughing. L let's see that again. <coughs> Whole lot of coughing going on. <coughs> Sing Celine Dion? Okay. <coughs> okay. <coughs> and a whole lot of <coughs> <coughs> clearing your throat there. Mm -hmm. Probably irritating your throat. Imagine what it's doing to your lungs and your heart. Mm hmm. <coughs> Would you please? Please stop using your abaya as a tissue and a napkin. That's not what it's for. Have some respect for your abaya. Have some respect for the religion that you claim to be representing. <sighs> the 
Is it bad for my asthma? Honestly, it doesn't really, like, it doesn't make me cough like cigarettes did in Lee's. <coughs> now, you see, that is what I'm talking about. The contradiction. She's saying, oh, it doesn't make me cough. It doesn't bother me. And she's <coughs> coughing away. The contradictions. You know, I don't know why. Maybe it's the water, it's the vapor. People also incorrectly feel that the water sufficiently filters the tobacco smoke to ensure that the inhaled smoke is safer. As the water does not actually cleanse the smoke of all toxic substances, some of the nicotine is absorbed by the user. This leads to people smoking for longer durations in order to experience the effects of a higher nicotine concentration, and therefore inhaling more smoke. And there's not like any additives like rock poison and stuff inside, it's just um, molasses, tobacco, so the, the contents here, <clears throat> tobacco, honey, glycerin flavor. So there's no formaldehyde, there's no arsenic, there's nothing bad like that. So it's not the same, you know, it's really just tobacco molasses or like a honey and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, this is just another bad habit she's picked up and she's thinking it's okay because it's only got molasses and honey and a little bit of tobacco. Just do a little research, it ain't good for you. Jeez Louise, and where's La? Where's La, huh? The husband, isn't he supposed to be taking care of her but him too? <laughs> mm-hmm, pretty sad. It is pretty sad, y'all. Smoking shisha than smoking cigarettes. We know smoking is bad for you, and it can increase your risk of strokes, cancers, heart disease, and even macular degeneration. Many people think that drawing tobacco smoke through water makes it safer than cigarettes, but this is not true. The British Heart Foundation says that an average shisha session lasting around an hour is equivalent to smoking over 100 cigarettes, and this can increase your risk of heart disease, lung disease, and circulatory problems. If the shisha pipe is poorly cleaned and shared amongst users, it can increase the risk of contracting infectious diseases such as tuberculosis, hepatitis, and meningitis amongst others. Unlike cigarettes, shisha is burnt using charcoal or wood cinders so users can be exposed to dangerously high levels of carbon monoxide gas. This can result in carbon monoxide poisoning, which happens when the carbon monoxide and tobacco smoke causes a reduction in the amount of oxygen carried in the blood so the heart must pump harder to supply the body with sufficient oxygen. Mm -mm -mm. You see what I'm talking about? Do you see what I am talking about? She wants to be oblivious to the obvious. I mean, just do a search, right? And you will see that the shisha is not good for people, especially in her condition, with her medical conditions and all the problems she got, right? I mean, the girl can barely breathe. She can barely breathe when she's walking back and forth. When she's reaching for a drink, she gets winded, right? But she don't keep, keep on trying to fool herself and fool us that, you know, oh, it's all good. It's all good for her. Don't hurt her asthma at all. <coughs> Coughing away, clearing her throat. Mm-mm-mm. She's going back to her bad habits, stuffing her pie hole and smoking the shisha. But I guess what else she gonna do, right? She gotta find a way to deal with her misery. And don't tell me she ain't miserable, cause she's miserable, uh huh. But hey, she gotta put on the front and pretend that everything's okay because she don't want us to be right, mm hmm. Anyhow, I went on longer than I wanted to, okay? Just wanted to touch on that, but I had some things to say. Now, I do want to talk about her overeating, this gluttony. Gluttony that is haram, as they say. I, I, I can't. <laughs> Okay, but I tell you, it has inspired me. It has inspired me, but that'll come in another video because I got some things to say about that, uh-huh. But anyhow, that's going to be it for me right now, and I will see you on the next one. Y'all take care, and I'll see you real soon.